Hey Gemini, welcome. This is going to be a love reading for you guys for the second half of June. So um, whenever you have to come across this, that's when you're meant to see it. So let's see what's going on though. What is happening for Gemini? Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their own identity. Oh, this person's really into you. Okay. So someone is really <laughs> heavily into you. And then they have here, dealt a bad hand. They wish they met you a different time, at a different time, because they feel they never get to see what the connection could have been. I don't know, that someone walked away and they're not coming back. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like maybe they're saying that. I almost feel like the energy, now this is not going to be for everyone. Definitely not for everyone. But um, someone's energy is coming in real strong. I feel kind of anger. And I feel like, okay, everything's... They don't take accountability for anything in their life. They blame everybody else. And that's not for everyone. But, you know, we create our own reality. And this person doesn't get that. So, you know, they got to work on this. Up. And I'm saying that's not for everyone. That's one person I'm really picking up on. Okay. Because this just came strong. I just felt someone's anger come through. Okay, now we have exhausted. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Now, see... This is someone owing up to the fact that they have to work on themselves. There's something they have to take care of. That is good. Okay, now we have losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. See, now that's it. There's, there's some people, when they don't feel good about themselves, they're insecure. They have to knock down someone else to feel better. So don't let that happen. If this is this energy you're getting from this person, I would say walk away. Don't let them pull you into that energy because it's really not yours. And there again, someone's not taking accountability for something here. Now crowning you, we have resistance. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into the higher levels of consciousness. Like we got, definitely have two energies coming in here really strong. One person that wants to work on themselves understands how things work in the universe. And another one is, woe is me. Everybody's to blame. You know, it was my upbringing, my this, my that. You know, it's like, if they have a hard time at a job, it's the boss's fault. It's, it's never their own. So that's the energy I'm picking up. Someone, someone else is like, okay, I understand. I need to work on this. I need to fix this. Okay. Then we have, coming in, we have slipped away. Though they never had you, to them you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take. Okay. And then we have here, gesture. You can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Okay, yeah, this person is really working hard. Whoever this is, now this reading is definitely not going to be for everyone. It's only going to be for a few. But this has to come out for someone that really needs to hear it. But there, there's someone that is um, trying really hard. To make this work because they really care about you. They're they're they have a very deep, strong connection with you. Okay, and then lack of faith, leaving you out in the cold, has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. And this is because this person didn't have enough self confidence in themselves. It wasn't you. It was not feeling that they could give you what you deserve. Okay, and then we have release. When they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. Yeah, this person is not letting go of you. They're just, they don't know what to do here. I feel this, I feel a lost soul here. They really don't know how to fix this at this time. And then we have come, potential outcome. We have taming the beast. You made them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Yeah, you are different from anybody else. And that is what's intriguing to them. And that's why they fear anybody else, you know, almost feels like, okay, they're deserving of their love because they're in the same level. But you are beyond their level. And it's, um, but they want you. They can't, uh, you guys might really be meant to be together. And you may have been brought together so that you can help lift this person up. And then we have broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. Now for cross watchers, you know, don't take this to heart because this might not be your, they this not may not be referencing you. You know, this, because this is not going to be for a lot of people. And then we have here, marriage. They see you as marriage material. Someone has inspired them to create a strong foundation for marriage. This person is changing because of you. Because they want this connection. Okay, and then take an aim. They have stepped into their power and taken action towards you. 
they will not miss the mark this time. Now, someone's very determined. We have definitely a couple different energies coming through here very strongly. One person, hopefully they wake up and they see things in a new perspective and they realize that they have to change things. They realize that we create our own reality. Is no one else can do this for us. We have to do it for our, our own self. What we think about, we bring about. And we create everything. So once people realize that, they change their ways and things start coming in their favor then. But if you think, woe is me, and whatever you keep on playing over and over in your head, that's what the outcome's going to be. So we really got to think positive. And the thing like I like to do too, if I get a negative thought, I say cancel, cancel, cancel. Say cancel three times and replace it with a positive thought to um, counteract that first thought. <laughs> okay, coming part. Why do we have the coming part? We have eight of swords, imprisonment. Now someone actually could be in prison at this time or someone could just feel like they're so stuck in their head that they don't know what to do how to fix this how to um how to make things work with you okay what about this dealt a bad hand and this king of swords quick wit and intellect okay so this could be you know this person sees you as this and also for some people this is going to be this person the way they come in because they're, they're right they're smart they're intelligent and they might you don't even give themselves enough credit for it if they um they, they might be far more intelligent than they even realize but they might counteract when people say something something with a quick sly remark and sometimes that gets them more in trouble than anything else let's see let's see what we have here oh i got a headache someone has a headache right now okay we have this batman with the the ball or a birdie or something stuck in the bat i mean when stuck in the racket so like this is my gonna go back and forth volleying back and forth with this these um quick wits maybe that's what you do with this person you go back and forth but somehow something got stuck here and then it stopped the communication so i'm almost feeling with this that you probably were having a conversation back and forth with this person you said something to them or they said something to you whichever way this goes because you know it could go either way and something that was said stopped the communication something was maybe harsh or just maybe too true and it hurt it, it's like it you know it's like whoa you know i can't believe you said that and that's what stopped the conversation okay let's see exhausted why do we have exhausted here five of swords mind games and control yet they're two and i feel like this is what this person's dealing with in their own personal environment whether it's family friends um work there's a bunch of mind control there's a bunch of games there's a bunch of drama and they're trying to get out of that energy in order to come towards you they're really working hard on that and what about this losing battle why do we have this losing battle okay the star aquarius energy universal alignment this in the past here this person's been trying to align trying to make things go in their favor I got such a headache now from this. Someone is like almost, it's a very slight pain, but it's in the forehead and it's a very slight throbbing if someone feels that right now because I know we don't get headaches. So this is, and I, when I channel, I get different people's energy. So I feel that. So I feel like someone's suffering from a little headache here. So um, here we have the universe alignment. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself play at your own level see because this is your energy this is your this is where they wish to be and so don't don't ever lower your standards to be with someone else to match their energy what you need to do is help them raise their um energy okay now why do we have this resistance here we have the full activation okay so something is getting activated in this person here and it's, it's bringing them up, it's, it's um, raising their vibration. The fool, the new beginning. So this, there's one person here that's fighting everything tooth and nail. Uh, everybody else is to blame for everything that happened to them since they are a baby. And then there's someone else realizing that they are, they are in control of their destiny. They are the captain of the ship. And they're working on this. Okay, now we got slipped away. Let's see. Okay, Queen of Wands, confident and magnetic. This is the way this person sees you. Um, this also could rep some Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get a charm on this one. 
And we have here, ooh, we have the Eiffel Tower. So maybe um, is someone in French that you're dealing with or have you traveled um, to France or, you know, something to do with the Eiffel Tower might be significant for you. Someone speaks French. Okay. And the gesture here. We have King of Cups, Emotional Mastery. Now you got a few people coming up here. Now, I do feel like there's two different energies. This this person here is the one that I think doesn't take accountability. This one here is the one that does. So this is the two different energies I'm feeling. And this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it could be anybody here. But they are trying to get hold of things and trying to, you know, they're trying to work on things. They know that they can make things work if they... The important time and effort into something here. Okay. We have, oh yeah, open heart. So this person has a big heart, a lot of emotions. I'm just going to deal with two different people here. That could be two. You know, either I'm tapping into two different entries as, as a, one person for for each reading for someone, or it's that you're got both of these people that are you're trying to deal with here. Okay, lack of faith. Oh, this turned over, so we're taking it. So the lack of faith because of heartache, there could be a third party um, interference in here. Now this could be, because I do have this energy here at the Five of Swords. This is someone that could be from this energy here that broke you guys up because they didn't want you together for something. Maybe they're jealous or, you know, sometimes people just don't like to see other people happy. And there could have been a connection here that you guys were really happy, but there might have been someone else that came in and... and broke you guys up or it could have been addiction or someone overdoing something whether they're over drinking doing drugs um maybe overspending or overworking or you know there's something that they were doing that was causing a third party and even could be their own self-sabotaging it's called it's causing third party because they didn't have enough confidence and faith okay now why do, why do we have release here knight of pentacles steady progress okay so someone taurus virgo capricorn Someone wants to come back here. This is this. They released you, but they want to return, and they're they're working their way come back to you. Let's get, there might be another person here too. Take this as it resonates with you guys. Okay, we have a key. Look at that. They have the key. They know the answer. They know what they need to do. They they're like excited. I feel very excited from this energy here. That they're doing very steady progress. They're taking their time. They don't want to rush this. Because this is the slowest night, the Knight of Pentacles. They take their time, they cross the T's, they dot their I's. They're not making any mistakes. They're steady and reliable. Okay, what about this Taming the Beast? Why is that here? The Devil, Obsession. You see, that's it, what they're trying to tame here. Someone's obsessing over this connection, obsessing over you. It could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn, but they can't stop thinking about this. They want this so bad. They, d they have a strong desire for you. Okay, what about this Broken? Four of Pentacles, scarcity mindset. Yeah, this brought this person to feel like they don't have enough. There's not enough to give. They they don't they're not enough for you. And that's what feels like they're broken here. See, the feeling broken inside and don't have oh wait, don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. And this is a scarcity mindset. They is saying the same thing. They feel lost, they feel they're trying to find themselves. Okay, now what about this marriage? High Priestess, hidden knowledge. Okay, you might be aware of this. Maybe you're the High Priestess here. But this is having no one's secrets, no one's something that's going on here. Having the ability, having very strong intuition. Um, high Priestess is Cancer Virgo energy, but it could be anybody. And it's just the idea that you have a very strong um, connection with spirit here. A very spiritual connection. On the bottom deck, we have Ten of Swords, painful ending. This was a painful ending, and I think you both felt it. It was not an easy thing to end. There was a lot of feelings here, but there was like, it wasn't the right time. So now maybe, for some of you, this will be the right time to come back around. Okay, let's see what else we get on this. What else we have here for Gemini, please? Okay, we have... Balance. Something is not an equal give and take. Focus on balancing yourself. I think this is your balance. I think this person needs to come into balance in order to come towards you. And they know that. Challenges. 
negative and unhealthy obstacles are upon you. Be careful. And this is this person, if they come in when they're not balanced, that's going to be a challenge. So they need to, and they know it, they need to come in correctly. And we have here healing. A time for reflection. Prayers will help you with this situation. Yeah, this, you need to heal this in some way. or Even if you don't, guys don't get back together, even if you just can heal this connection so they can have closure. And that reconciliation, the renewal of a past connection is taking place. So someone is coming in. Whether you, um, whether or not you go forward to a long-term commitment, you are going to heal something here in the reconciliation and express a time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yes, you must open up and have heart-to-heart -heart so that you can see where each other's coming and you can help each other along the way here. Okay, let's see what words we have here for you. We have this King of Swords. What's with the King of Swords? We have expect, committed, ooh, a tower. So this expect this to come in out of the blue, that this person wants to be in commitment with you. And this is going to be an Aries or a Scorpio energy, could be, but this is going to be shocking, something you don't expect, whatever this person is going to show up or however this happens, it's going to really shock you. Something they say, something they do, or how they appear, maybe you're not expecting to see them when you do. What about the Queen of Wands? We have after sex before. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Maybe you slipped away after sex or before sex or something. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> you guys have some fun with this one. After before sex. Maybe something happened after and before sex. <laughs> something that was French. <laughs> or the Eiffel Tower had something to do with it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. What about this Knight of Pentacles? Why do we have a Knight of Pentacles here? We have Finish, Mystery, Confess. Okay, so someone's going to confess something that is finished. It was a mystery. I don't know. Again, rearrange them if it makes more sense another way for you. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this when... It could mean so many different things for so many different people. Okay, what about this um, King of Cups? We have here. Past. Will you? Sharing. Okay, so this could say this is someone in the past, or this happened in the past, something, sharing something. But this person wants to know if you'll share, or share, maybe they want to open up and share things that happened in the past. But they also might come in and ask you a question that starts with, will you? Okay. Now let's see what signs we're dealing with. What signs do we have for Gemini? Oh, that headache. What is that? Oh, it could be a tension headache that someone is so stressed out over this that they get these tension headaches. But I <laughs> am really having a headache here with this energy. Cancer. Taurus. Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts. It could be past, present, future people. Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, and Capricorn. Okay, now let's see what letters we have. We're going to do 11 letters. And this will be for initials for first name, last name, and you get both first and last, and you know someone's middle initial, and you get that also. If you know someone's middle name, get that also, all the better. Uh, past, present, future people, and also your own. S, B, W, J, E, G, A, H, V, Z, Q. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are S, B, W, J, E, G, A, H, V, Z, Q. Okay, now let's see what names we have. What are the names? What are the names? Okay, we have Tammy, Dominique, D-O-M-I-N-I-Q-U-E. We have Veronica, 
chase, Atana, A-I-T-A-N-A, Liza, L-I-Z-A, Drake, Tamara, T-A-M-R-A, Enzo, E-N-Z-O, Janae, J-A-N-A-I, and we need one more. One from the bottom. And we have Joe. Okay, so those are the names for you today. So um, please remember these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Just take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't. Don't try to make things fit. If they don't, please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much much.